I personally, my personal conviction, if I'm not sick, if I'm not coughing or projecting stuff, I don't feel the need to wear a mask to protect myself from other. Tak 들어가려고 했는데 가게 문 앞에서 다 마스크를 착용하고 있네요. Are you taking video or pictures? Yeah, video. 여기는 월마트 주차장이고요. 제가 밤에 여기서 음, 잤습니다. 자고 나서 어, 출발을 하려고 그랬는데 어, 여기 미국 사람이 어, 누가 노크를 했어요. 그래서 이렇게 보니까 미국 사람이더라고요. 어, 제 리글, 제 펜을 보고 싶다 그래갖고 어, 이것저것 얘기한 다음에 어, 제가 또 요청을 했어요. 이 사람 RB도 좀 보여달라고 예. 정말 오래간만입니다. 정말 오래간만에 인터뷰를 하게 됐습니다. 떨리네요. 오랜만에 하려고 하니까. 예. Could you introduce a little bit about yourself? My name is Chad Anderson, and originally I was born in Texas. I only lived there for six weeks, and then I moved to Florida, and I've been there for my whole life, and I've been traveling in an RV uh, for about the last six years on and off um, the last two years pretty much full time this is my second RV um, I've had this one for about a year and the other one I had about five years and I like this one much better mm -hmm. um, I got some solar for it I got a generator 4,000 watt it'll you know run anything you need um, and I've got it hooked up with solar and an inverter where I can run like the coffee maker and microwave and um, you know, make toast and keep my batteries charged, charge phones, run fans, things like that um, without having to use the generator. Okay, Chad, what made you come out of just here? The, just the freedom. Freedom. Just the freedom of living in an RV. Um, there's something about being on the road mm. that's just it just feels good it's freeing you don't feel like locked down to one house or one place there's always a new environment living on the road you can boondock for free so the cost of living and the the views and everything that the nature that you get to see the all of america the whole <laughs> the variety is huge compared to staying in one place okay cost of living is it a big difference you know, uh, living in a house and living in an yeah. RV? I, I would say it depends on how you do it. Mm -hmm. It could be, it could cost just as much or more as living in a house if you, if you decided to live in luxury and mm -hmm. you know, but if you live conservative, I think it can be much, much, much cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends on how you do things, how much gas you use, mm -hmm. how much propane you use, what kind of setup you got. Um, but overall, I think you could get it down to where you could, you could really live cheap if you wanted to. I mean, mm -hmm. $500 a month or less. You spend $500 yeah, a month? Yeah, that's everything. Uh, so it, it's you know, less money spent than living in a house. Yes, and the freedom of it. Okay, the freedom. Big plus. Yeah, the most important. Yeah, it's, yeah. I would do it probably even if it cost the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, freedom. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to have mm -hmm. everything planned out. No, like, I don't have a plan. <laughs> you know, and you uh, know how good uh, it feels to uh, not have a plan and somebody say, so where are you going today? What are you going to do? Where's your no, next stop? No. Da, da, da. I don't know. No, I don't me neither. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a mark. He said, oh, his mentor is, my plan is not to have a plan. Exactly. Uh, I like that quote. I mean, how can you be in a hurry uh -huh. to go nowhere specific? Mm. Like, if you don't really have a, a destination that you're trying to get to, mm. you're not in a hurry. Yeah, no need to hurry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm hurry, hurry up to get uh. to nowhere. Yeah. So. so you like it so far? Yes. And then, how long you you gonna do this Maybe lifestyle? the rest of my life. <laughs> Until the re rest Until of I your die. life. Okay, good. If I get sick, I'll just go over there in those woods somewhere and just lay down and go to sleep. And somebody can have the RV. 
<laughs> it's a 2001. Um, 350 just means basically, I think it's a three quarter ton frame or a one ton frame, one or the mm -hmm. other. But what I like most about it is it's got the V10 Triton instead of the V8. Mm -hmm. This thing will go up any hill. It consumes a lot of gas. Is About 10 diesel? miles a gallon. This is a 10 gallon tank right here. Mm -hmm. I put this on extra so I could actually buy a, um, like a grill container. Mm -hmm. If I run out of propane, mm -hmm. just go to Walmart, buy your regular grill container propane, screw this onto the tank. This is a quick disconnect. Just pop it in there. And what I can do is just put the grill right here, put some bungee cords, and the container could just sit here. Mm -hmm. That's if I got low in this. Mm -hmm. um, I usually don't have that problem. I just got this installed mm -hmm. in case. Back up. I have much smaller tank, but no problem. Yeah. Because there are a lot of place to fill it. Yeah, exactly. Except with this, you know, pandemic thing, mm -hmm. a lot of places stop doing propane, which mm -hmm. can be a problem. But yeah, speaking of pandemic, how can you deal with this situation? I have, I have no problems. No problems. Right. I had a little problem because state parks all closed, the camping, true, true, camping true, true. spots all closed. Well, it I, was very tough to find camping spot. In Illinois also, when I was in Illinois, I could not find anybody to put propane in my tank for me in all the state of Illinois. Yeah. Th By the way, may I ask how much you bought this, Nuri? 14000 14000 2001. 2001. Okay, thank you. I got you. about a year ago. How many miles on? Um, I bought it, it had 76,000. Okay. Oh, thank you. Mm. Take off your shoe? It, um, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. You have fan. Okay. Mm. So, you will do sleep? I sleep up top. Oh, uh, here? Yeah. And I sleep up there, and then I like to come here in the morning. This is my spot where I oh, hang out. Yeah. You know, I read yeah. my Bible, check my phone, mm. can charge my stuff here, and, you know, drink my coffee. If I were you, i sleep on this spot because it's, you have to climb every time and then climb I, down every time. I don't, the, I've considered sleeping here, the only reason I don't sleep here is because I like having a spot for sleeping mm -hmm. and a separate place for just relaxing and chilling uh -huh. out. I like to keep them separate. That's mm -hmm. just me. Better. Oven, yeah. burners on the stove, you know, sink, um, and then just more, you know, just normal storage and uh -huh. stuff. Microwave, refrigerator. And then just the shower, you know, mm. shower, toilet, okay, little sink, little storage. So when I take a shower, I oh. take this stuff out and set it in the kitchen and take my shower and then put it mm. back in there because there's not a lot of storage. Do you shower every... I probably shower... I don't have a routine. Mm. Like when I need a shower, I take a shower. It could be yesterday, mm. it could be three days ago, or it could be a week ago. It just depends on mm. what I've been doing, how much I've been sweating, how dirty I am. You know, and then of course in between showers you got wet wipes and, yep. y you know, things like that. Just, mm. you you should know whether you're dirty or not dirty. Right. Mm -hmm. um, stay clean, whether mm. you gotta take a shower yeah. every day or not. Yeah. You know, so it depends on whether you're at a campground because they usually have bathhouses, you know, save your water on your RV and use somebody else's water if you're paying for it. Um, another good place to get showers is truck stops. Yeah. Um, Expensive, I think. I'm going to tell... $8? $10? $14. $14. A lot of places of them, $14. Yeah, it's so expensive. But do you guys know th that Just at your main truck stops, like your pilots, your Flying J's, mm -hmm. your Petros, your TA's, your main, your main truck stops that are that are franchises that are 
uh, chains, mm -hmm. the truckers get free showers for filling up gas. Yeah, but we don't. I don't. I can feel that they kind of much. They so get, I can. So I can get. get they get yeah. free showers for mm -hmm. filling up. Mm -hmm. They get so many showers free mm -hmm. that they can't use them all. And after a month or a certain amount of time, they just expire and they basically throw them away. Mm -hmm. So truckers have a lot of free showers mm -hmm. that they don't use. Uh -huh. If you go to a trucker, usually they'll be at the kiosk getting their own shower. You'll see them with their bag, you know, fixing to take a shower themselves. And they're swiping their card to get themselves a shower. When you see them, go up to them and politely ask them if they have an extra shower they could mm -hmm. spare. Most mm -hmm. time they'll say, Sure. Wow. I have goosebumps because I already got a free shower from them. So, so listen, yeah. I have never, mm -hmm. ever, ever, I mean, I've probably gotten 200 free showers. At wow. Oh. Never had a trucker oh. tell me no for a shower <laughs> unless they just didn't have an extra one. They didn't have, if they only got one shower, I don't want to take their last shower. Wow. Only if they have extra. Um, would I even take it? And as a matter of fact, some people have told me they didn't have a shower, mm. but that they would buy me one. And I said, no, you don't need to buy me one. Wow. Um, this... Cause I don't want somebody buying me, but they did like mm. maybe five people mm. or more have offered to do that. A couple other people said they wow. didn't have a shower. And I said, okay, thank you. And guess what? Five minutes later, they approach me and come up to me in the truck stop and they say, here, I bought you a shower. Wow. And just hand it to me. So, which I don't like. I don't mm. think you should have to pay for a shower if it's if you're getting it free. You know, don't be rude yeah, about just it. Polite, just be polite, polite ask, yeah. quiet, mm -hmm. you know, chill. Yeah. And, and, and try not to inconvenience them. Like, if you, you know who truckers are because they got the headsets on. A lot of times they got their backpacks because they're doing laundry or walking around the store. You can tell who a trucker is in a truck stop. Uh -huh. There's a lot of them. Yeah. The kiosk for getting your showers, it's just a swipe card, may be on the way other side of the store. And there may be a trucker on the other side of the store getting a drink and fixing him a hot dog. He's trying to get back mm. on the road. I'm not gonna go up to that guy and say, hey, would you happen to have an extra shower? Cause you can tell these guys are working mm -hmm. men, they're on the road, they're trying to make their stop as short as possible, some of them, the ones that aren't staying there, the ones that aren't on a layover, the ones that are just popping in to get that gas, get something to eat and get out of there. I don't bother those guys, mm -hmm. but you go to like the trucker lounge where people hang out. You can tell the truckers who are staying the night or staying a few days there, or the ones that are just on their lunch break trying to get in and out of the store. Don't bother the guys that are just... Yeah, Does good information. Sense? Yeah, makes sense, good. But wow. yeah, showers at a truck stop can be very expensive, but... You know, there's mm -hmm. lots of, here's yeah. another thing. Okay, so I've only been in Squim, yeah. I've only been in Squim mm. one day. Uh, have you ever heard of All Stays? Walmart All Stays. It'll tell you every state, every city at Walmart, whether it's okay to stay there or not stay there. Mm -hmm. Obviously Squim, it's okay to stay at this Walmart for, you know, free. Yeah. I usually just hold and to the information and then ask, can I stay overnight? Or? Sometimes and it's not yesterday. the best. Mm. Basically, if you asked here, mm. they might tell you you can't. Because a lot of places have city ordinances that you're not allowed to stay there. But Walmart doesn't care if you stay there. Mm. But Walmart can't tell you you can stay there if it's against the city ordinance. Mm -hmm. So they'll tell you no, even though they don't care and they're not gonna do anything about it. They're not gonna call a tow truck or report you or give you a citation. So sometimes that's why I like the Allstate app. Even the ones where they have signs, no parking, you know, or you'll be towed. But on the app, it says they the management really has no problem with you mm -hmm. staying there. Okay, and then what kind of app do you use searching for free camping spots? Oh. I just Google free camping in this and whatever area you are. Mm -hmm. There's so many different websites mm -hmm. depending on the city where you are. Campadium or freecampsites.com. Map, 
you can put it on satellite view. You can actually view into the campsite to see if you like the way that it looks. Mm -hmm. And there's boondocking websites and there's people, tons of people who do RV logs. Just read the reviews of a lot mm -hmm. of businesses even like if you go to casinos casinos are a great place to stay mm -hmm. i think so um i had a point i was gonna make but i can't remember but my point is like the camp the casino down the road they actually have free 30 amp hookup and free 15 amp hookup free electric in their wow. parking lot this b but, plus but ba oh this is what i was gonna say even a gas station mm. pull up their satellite view any business you think you might want to stay at, pull up their satellite view. This gas station down the road is just a Chevron, just a normal Chevron. You wouldn't think you could camp overnight there at a normal gas station. But you look and they got full RV places. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, okay, they have RV pay parking. I know that. But can I stay overnight? Go to their Google reviews. Mm -hmm. And then in the search under reviews, put overnight RV parking or free parking or free camping. Mm. And you'll see all the reviews of people who have done past reviews saying they don't mind if you stay here overnight for 24 hours, but mm. no more than 24 hours. Or you can stay here as long as you like. They they welcome That's campers. Good. Yeah. Just re read reviews. Look, mm. All the yeah. information's out there. Yeah, and I what tried. I was going to say, was... so when I got here, the first thing I do is you notice a lot of people have conversion vans around here. They live out of vans mm -hmm. instead of, it's just the style in Washington. Everybody lives out of a van instead of an RV. I like my RV, but I think the vans are pretty cool. But you can tell who's living out of their van and not. And you can tell who's a local and who's not. So the f I was here 30 minutes and I walked over to a local and I asked for the scoop around here. They will tell you the cheapest place to do laundry. They will mm -hmm. ch tell you the cheapest place to get a shower. Cheapest, cleanest, best place. They will tell you where free, clean, free public restrooms are. Just get the lowdown from the locals. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you where good places to park overnight are. Like I was in, um, I was in Port Townsend the other night. They've got um, no regulation parking on the side of the road. I see a van there parked. You can tell they're dry camping. This guy actually has a wood stove inside of his RV. <laughs> uh, he has it piped coming out of the roof. Uh, it looks like a smokestack going down the road. Yeah. Like he's smoking barbecue in there or something. <laughs> okay. oh my God. But you can tell he lives uh, out of his camper. So I knock on the side of the door. He doesn't answer. Mm -hmm. I walk down the road and I start talking to him. Mm -hmm. And finally he pops his head out. And he comes and he talks to me and he ta he's originally from Seattle and he ends up talking to me for like 30 minutes. He tells me all the free sp best spots in the area where there are to park, mm -hmm. the best views, everything. Pull them up on Google Maps. You can see them right there. He put dropped pins on the Google Maps. So I got everything saved of where I can park. And all that took me was a 30 minute conversation, not even with a guy. And I've got a wor week's worth of places to stay, best showers, best laundry. Just get the scoop, read reviews, mm -hmm. all the information's out there. It's not hard, it's not difficult, it's not complicated, it's not stressful. You're not gonna be without your necessities. You know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. a way to get it. We're in America and even the homeless can get food and shelter and water and clean yeah. showers. The other day I couldn't find any water and any toilet paper. After Trump declared national emergency, yeah, yeah, people people go crazy here. They they live out of fear. Did you feel fear? No, how would that be? I trust God. God is my provider. He will take oh. care of me. I don't worry about nothing. So you never wear the mask? No, nope. no. I saw almost ninety percent of, of people, people in the market. Yeah, they all wore a mask. Basically, it didn't used to be this way in America. Like. From what I understand, in, in like places like China and stuff, mm -hmm. wearing a mask has become pretty much the norm in, in places like China. Mm -hmm. Pandemic or no pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, flu season or not flu season. Now in America, I think it's gotten to where it's going to be the norm like China. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, my personal conviction, if I'm not sick, if I'm not coughing or projecting stuff, I don't feel 
the need to wear a mask to protect myself from other. I feel like my natural immunity is better interacting with people. It gets stronger by interacting with people. By putting a mask, I feel like it, it lowers my immune system rather than raises it. Mm -hmm. But if I was sick and coughing, I would wear the mask out of protection for others, not for protection for myself. But COVID-19, coronavirus, even if you got a virus, you couldn't feel. So you cannot you tell. You could have it and not know it. Wearing a, a mask protect others from you. When you go into the market, people are wearing a mask, but you, you are not wearing a mask, then yeah. how do you feel? So That's the funny thing. I just thought about that basically just recently, like maybe even yesterday, right. where, you know, maybe like two or three weeks ago, 60, 70% of the people were wearing masks. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little higher, but you know, not everybody. So you didn't really feel that different or that out of place. And, but now mm. it seems like 95% of the people or more are mm. wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. So oh. I recognize that like within the last few days, when you see that everybody else is wearing a mask, mm. the thing is when I'm walking through a store, I'm okay with everybody else wearing a mask. It's normal to me now, but I'm not thinking I'm not wearing a mask. You know what I mean? Like you don't, mm. I'm not holding the mirror in front of myself going, oh, I'm not wearing a mask and everybody else is. But when you come back, you know, to the RV and you realize, wow, everybody was wearing a mask in there and I'm not. I wonder if everybody was looking at me because yeah. I was the only one yeah. not wearing a mask. So it's getting to that point where if you don't wear a mask here, you're going to be like the only one or feel mm. like you're the only one mm. not wearing a mask. So how are they going to treat you? Mm -hmm. How are you going to feel about it personally? Are you going to feel like fear or ashamed or nervous or shy about, you know, uncomfortable that you're not, <laughs> or are you going to feel like you're putting them in jeopardy? You know, you, you're going to have a lots of feelings coming in of whether should I be wearing a mask or not? Mm -hmm. Because everybody else is. Mm -hmm. So it's going to come down to your personal choice. Yeah. Do you feel like you should or you shouldn't? Now, if the law comes in and says you have to or you can't buy food or you can't come in the store or you can't do this, well, then that's going to be another decision you're going to have to make. Mm. Is it more important for me to eat today or not? If, if it's more important for me to eat today, then I'm going to put on a mask. You can have this. Oh, no, no. It's too big. Thank you, but Look, thank you, though. I have these two. Mm -hmm. You want this one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I couldn't find for months. And listen, so every time I didn't worry about getting it until I needed it, and when I needed it, I went and it was there. You're lucky then. <laughs> I couldn't find. Hey. I look hey. at Okay, okay. Keep protecting you. Yep. Toa, we need you believing in God again. God's good. Whether you believe it or not, God's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the